Hello everyone, welcome. Today we will learn about garden wall bond and their types and where they are used frequently. Garden wall bond is mostly made in one brick thick wall only, used as boundary wall or covering outer layer in cavity wall. This type of wall is economical and is easy to build by unskilled labor as well and also give a uniform face and good appearance in a wall having exposed brickwork. Due to different arrangement of bricks, this type of wall is not so strong as English bond wall, which makes its use limited to dwarf walls or short heighted walls and other type of walls which are not carrying the load or stress. There are two types of garden wall bond mostly used. First is English bond wall. Let us understand the wall arrangement with help of animation. Arrangement of bricks in garden wall is almost similar to English bond wall, except with one little change in it. The garden wall bond have heading cores inserted in every fourth or sixth course. Usually the arrangement consists of one course of header and three courses of stretcher. Garden wall bonds are designed to reduce the number of headers used in English bond to minimize the labor and make it economical and save the construction time as well. Due to less use of headers, the strength of garden wall bond reduces. But as the use of this type of wall is limited to freestanding walls, strength doesn't matter much. There are many other combinations which can be used in garden wall bond like Header course comes after every 4th or 6th stretcher course. In the stretching course, one header is placed in the starting which act as a queen closure to create a lap between continuous courses and thus avoiding the vertical joints. We can also use the different color brick in heading course to get a good face appearance in an exposed brickwork garden wall bond. Another type of garden wall bond is Flemish garden wall bond. In course 1 of Flemish garden wall bond, the combination of 3 or 5 stretchers with one header in between is made throughout the length of the wall. And in course 2, we start with a header and then a 3 by 4 bat to provide a lap from the course 1 below which avoids the vertical joints on the face of the wall. After that, we place a header and then 3 or 5 stretchers as we did in course 1. After that, we place all other courses by repeating the course 1 and course 2 alternatively. In Flemish garden wall bond, in every alternate course we start with a header and also there is a header in every course which breaks the continuity of stretchers in our brickwork as it was in English garden wall bond. This was all about English and Flemish garden wall bond. Join me on Facebook or other social platforms to get connected and talk on it. If any doubt or questions, write them down in the comment section please. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos to your friends. Thanks.